the paper pattern how the isi entrance question paper looks like so the paper pattern how the isi question entrance paper entrance paper looks like is paper pattern so there are two papers that you have to attend in isi entrance exam subjective and the objective part so two papers are separate given there is a one hour gap in between so going into the hall first you was two is you have to go for the subjective paper then you get a one hour lunch break after the lunch break you need to get back to your seats again and attend for the subjective paper so let me start with the objective papers and go in order of the precedence so objective you get 30 questions in objective in isi objective you get 30 questions correct answer yields you a four marks so you get four marks for every correct answer you give for every incorrect answer you give you get a zero mark for every unattempted question you get a one mark okay so hope i am very clear to this this is because this pattern is very advantageous without knowing the question i hope you have realized that even without knowing the question when you are going to the exam hall you are carrying 30 marks so now it's your duty my friends that you will reduce those 30 marks to come down to zero or you will increase those 30 marks to go down to 80, 90 or 120. So the exam in objective is total of, of 120. So in when the ISI papers are checked, so after the inter, entrance interview, your ISI papers will be evaluated on a basis. So when the ISI entrance exam is checked, what do you do? So for objective, there will be a specific cutoff. The cutoff for objective varies from 65 to 75. It hasn't any time got, or I can say 80. 85. So it, and it hasn't any, any time gone above 85. So this is basically a pure statistical reasoning that I'm, I'm using. So the cutoff varies between 65 to 85, each year it changes, but usually it stays within the range. And the last year cutoff was 72.5, as I remember. So the 72.5 was the last year cutoff, a bit, very bit absurd, I know. But if you couldn't qualify the objective marks, so first year objective answer scripts will be checked. If you couldn't qualify the objective cutoffs, pretty sure that your subjective papers won't be checked. That's the paper pattern, paper checking pattern in ISI. So you first need to clear the object part and then you need to get to the subjective part. So this is how in ISI papers are usually checked. So in the objective part, I must say that people, what mistakes do many people do in the strategy? So they strategize that, okay, so the subjective questions are very harder. So they are very lengthy. So I need to focus more on the subjective questions. No. Remember that the objective part keeps the most important. In objective, out of 120, if you manage to get a 95, 96 or even above 90 or even above 80, solving a single question, so ISI expects you to give 4 to 5 questions. So ISI expects you to at least do 4 to 5 questions in exam, but experience is that after getting a 90 mark, even if you do a single question correctly in exam or if you do manage to do single question, half of the other question, part of the some other question, your ISI entrance is cleared. You can be pretty sure you will get a call for the interview. So the main focus is the subjective part. So I tell you everyone that the subjective part is very, objective part, sorry, the objective part is very important. Focus topics I have given in the objective part, the focus topics is all. Everything must be the focus topics as I have said in the syllabus, in the previous in the previous part, few minutes back as I have said, that in the syllabus what you are getting is, the every part should be the focus for your ISI entrance exam. So practice the objective thoroughly. So after you have completed the objective and got the one hour break, you need to get into the subjective. So subjective has eight subjective questions, each of which contains 17 marks each. You are given partial marking for partial correct answers. So please don't leave any subjective question unattempted. You will get a partial marks for every and for every partial answer. So even if you have managed to write a right theorem that with whose help that can be solved, you are very sure to get a good mark there. 
Eight subjective, 17 marks each. I request you, everyone, that you are given infinitely many pages in the subjective as you want. So don't think of pages, just write proper reasoning. Subjective questions require proper reasoning. Don't write improper reasoning. Even if you have a half done question with a proper reasoning, but half done, not completed, you will get half marks. But if you have done an entire question with improper reasoning and improper writing pattern, I will cover a video on writing pattern later. So if you have an important thing of writing pattern, then of course you will get a zero mark if you have incorrect writing pattern. Remember, you understood a solution and that's the correct solution is not important. You need to assume that the other person who is sitting don't know anything and you need to explain it from the very basic step. So the focus topics as seen must be everything. So focus topics must be everything but as the pattern is observed, the focus on ISI topics is usually given on calculus trigonometry, algebra, number theory, combinatorics and complex numbers. So these are the main focus topics of ISI entrance subjective part because maximum of the questions are usually comes from this part. So just remember that you need to focus and learn them thoroughly so that you are able to solve and clear your concepts and grasp the topics so thoroughly that you are able to solve problems here. The subjective problems here. So as I tell, proper reasoning should be important. So just get a book or even if you are studying from a teacher, get a teacher who can just improvise you and you can just clear your concepts properly. I must say that our institution, the Shore Officers Institution is very best regarding this. So now we come to the third topic. So what is the books that are required for ISI exam? So what are the books that you require for ISI exam? Number one, the most important book is Tomato. Tomato means taste of mathematics. Tomato here doesn't mean a fruit that is available in the market. So tomato here means test of mathematics at 10 plus 2 level. I'm again mentioning it, though I have mentioned in the previous few minutes of the video. Test of mathematics at the 10 plus 2 level. This is the most important book for the exam, I must say most important, most, most, most important book for the exam. This is a must for every ISI aspirant. This book is a must. Tomato book, you can easily get it in, this book is published directly from ISI. You can easily get it in Amazon. You can easily get it in Flipkart or you can easily get it in any bookshop. This book is very well renowned and famous. The next book that I must mention in the list is Excursion in Mathematics. So this is the first book that of the list that I was mentioning you, Test of Mathematics and 10, 10 plus 2 level, the most important book. This is known as Tomato. I have abbreviated it as Tomato. You can understand very easily. T-O-M-A-T-O. -O. So the O from the 10 is taken. So I don't know any such good reason because the people used to call it Tomato. So getting jokes apart. So Excursion in Mathematics. V. Moda, this is published by Bhaskar Charya Pratisthana Pune. This book is very important for Olympiads, even for your ISI CMI exam. Graphs by G. Tiwani. So, G. Tiwani, the book is Graphs. So this is a very important book, one of the very important book that is used to ISI exam. This will clear your concepts regarding graphs. Many questions including solution of equations, trigonometric solutions, require graphs to answer their questions. 
So graphs by G. Divani is another important book. So the next important book that is to be mentioned is Challenges and Thrills in Pre-College Mathematics. This is one of the very important book that will get your concepts clear and the problems from this book are very important. This book is published directly from NBHM, the National Board of Higher Mathematics of India. So this is one of the very important books that you will require. Five. Okay, so the fifth, sixth and the seventh books are all equally important for the exam. The fifth is the Pathfinder book for Mathematical Olympiad. This is a very good book for ISI as well as for Mathematical Olympiad and for ISI aspirants it's just like a gold mine. So every ISI aspirant must have it. This book is not a very though a good book as compared to Pathfinder but I recommend you to do the questions from it. This book has very quality questions in it. Rajiv Manoja, the Inmo book that is to be published in Arihant. And the seventh is Arthur Angel Problem Solving Saturdays. This is the best and one of the most important book that every ISI aspirants must contain. Now the next point that comes to our topic is tips. So what are the tips that I have to give you for ISI exam? So tips given before the any ISI exam is just tips for any mathematical exam. Have a good amount of sleep. That is very necessary. Have a problem solving attitude. For ISI, you need to develop a problem solving attitude. In fact, for any subject, to get a depth of the subject, you need to get a problem solving attitude. Practice from test of mathematics and the books that I've mentioned thoroughly. Those must be thorough to you. Then you can attempt the ISI questions very well. These are the questions that are, these are the books that are essential for your ISI exams. In fact, you can, if you want, you can do a self-study and publish and get the materials from Schwarzer's classes. They publish very good materials on ISI and CMI. And the last but not the least tip that I must get, please do focus on the objective part of the exam. The objective part of the exam is the most deciding factor, so as the deciding factor in whether you are getting an ISI or not. So many people don't get into ISI because of the objective part. So these are the general tips for the ISI exam. Go to your center with a fresh mind. Arrive at your center 15 minutes early. That is very well, very recommended because you need to get accustomed to your surroundings. ISI is very given by a very few concentrated people, but please you need to get accustomed to your whole surroundings. So you must be get accustomed to your hall so that you get, get the confident level. And keep your confidence level high. No exam, as Albert Einstein said, or many great said, no exam can determine what talent you have. This, in this context, we are determining ISI. It's a premier institute. It's okay if you get, but it's also not bad if you don't get. It, you need not demean yourself that you don't get into ISI. That means that you are not in one of a very good quality. So not that. So I must say that these are the general tips that you shall follow. Just clean up your mind and go for the exam. Concluding this discussion, I must, I will say, I want to say that coming to the end part that please go rush the ISI forms are available now on the website itself it's from February 14th to March 7th it's available so please go and rush the time is very limited make an account play a pay a certain amount of rupees and get ready for the ISI exam as I've told all the best to everyone for your exams thank you